Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have for you today what is my most favorite video of the holiday season and that is Dollar Tree candy, the Christmas candy selection and what I buy personally to put in gifts and packaging and all kinds of stuff. Let's move over here a little bit. There we go. It's 75 out. I don't care, I'm cold. So I have the fire on. <laughs> so I have all the candy that I've bought so far. Now I'm assuming more stuff will come out or there's stuff that I haven't found at my store. But I wanted to go over with you what I've found so far in case you're looking for it too. So let's get started. First, the vessel. This mug is huge. If you find it, it makes a great little gift basket. Basket. Um, inside a cellophane bag full of treats, it's just that big. And I'm gonna show you. So I showed you before, I purchased these Stroop waffles at, cost, at Costco. And what I'm planning on doing, I'm gonna put some filler, but the Stroop waffles fit down in this cup but I'll have some filling in there so it sticks up a little bit but this is what I'm going to put my gifts in if you have a Costco membership this box was on sale and I don't think they're still on sale this month so it will be $8.99 and you get four packages of 10 which isn't bad I actually got it for six dollars so I paid a dollar fifty for a pack per package which I think is fantastic and from what I've heard this is a great brand so check your Costco if you have a membership um, this is just one idea I think I also I don't have it over here but I purchased just a plain white mug to put some in too that's my idea so let's get started I bought a couple of each of these things and then what I will do on video is I'll lay them out with how I determine who gets what. I pro And yeah, I can put these together, that's fine. And show you how I plan on doing it. But that'll be another video. Um, but I found some of this. It's Peppermint Crunch Popcorn. The brand is... Oh, I think Sweet Chaos is the brand. Yep, Sweet Chaos Snacks. So I grabbed two of these. It is white chocolate, milk chocolate, and candy cane crushed up. So I grabbed two bags of those because I think they will look good. I liked the packaging and I liked the idea and it's very Christmas-like. So I grabbed two of those. I only picked up one of these this year. I may get some more, but these are, um, they're just cookies with hazelnut chocolate in the middle and they're great at the holidays to go in one of these packages. If you don't have Stroop waffles, you could certainly put one of those in there with some other candies and for a dollar I just feel like that's a really good deal for a single package of that then I picked up one pack of these chocolate marshmallows and you get four of them in here which I thought was a good deal and again I like things that are taller that'll stick up and out of my vessel that may not be your vessel you can have whatever you want but that's what I'm picking and then I grabbed one of these Kinder Bueno candy bars, which I think are pretty interesting. These are, hmm, I don't know where these are made. I know that they're made in Italy. Okay. They're imported. Uh, Kinder eggs are a big thing in Europe. They're just now making it to the U.S. Um, with a little drama behind them, but whatever. So I grabbed one of those. That is for my little nephew. I'll show you when I get to him. And I say little, he's 15. And then I packed, grabbed a four pack of these, which are made in the US, but they are based on a candy, I think Japan, maybe China, not sure. Korea maybe, I wanna say Japan. This is an American version, but they're just little packs of treats. And they are a little crusty shell filled with chocolate. So I grabbed that. That's for one individual. I grabbed a four pack of these um, mini milk chocolate bars that I'm gonna break up just because I think they're cute. This is milk, it just says milk chocolate. And I don't know what brand this is. It doesn't say. Oh, manufactured for Lugwood Chocolade member of the Kruger group, Germany, made in Poland. 
I don't know, but they looked interesting. I hope they're tasty for whoever I gift them to. So I grabbed those. I love grabbing packages and you'll see that everything is individually wrapped so I can break it up and sort it out over certain, you know, so many people. And this is going to be a theme. Now these are for one individual person and they're just some vanilla K cups. Hope that's showing up for you. And you get four French vanilla coffee pods that go in your Keurig. And I thought that was fantastic. Again, it'll fit in the mug with some other things. I mean, that's what I was thinking. Is everything going in the mug? Probably not, but these are fantastic. You could break them up, but I have one specific friend that I know has a Keurig and will appreciate these, so she gets those. Um, I picked these up. I don't know this brand, Impact. But this is, I got the chocolate covered cherry cordial flavored marshmallow reindeer. And again, you get five of them in here. I can open them up. They're individually packaged so I can put one in each little gift. And I love being able to do that. Uh, this I got for one person's gift. It's Palmer's. I'm not a huge fan of Palmer chocolates. Um... But I liked the packaging, so I thought it was cute to go in somebody I know that has, you know, maybe a little person. I just liked it, and I thought, that's cute. And it's, you know, a nice size. Again, sticking out of the top of a mug. Individually packaged things I'm all about. I grabbed these this year, and I'm going to open them up so we can see. But these, and I've never bought these before, they're candy cane spoons. Peppermint flavored. And then it says artificially flavored. These might just be for looks, but we're going to see. I'm opening the package. I know these are individually wrapped, which is why I bought them. I didn't think they were, so I've never picked them up before. I thought they were, um, you know, open, but they're not. So they're going to go down in size, and I got six of them. So it's like a candy cane, but it's a spoon. So if you do some hot chocolate packets, you can put a couple in each person's and it's just cute. You know, a little add on for the top and it's a little peppermint spoon. I've heard mixed reviews, but I, it's more for looks for me than it's gonna be for tasting. You know, but if I put some, I know they sell these in Edamons hot chocolate, a little bit of that, a pack of marshmallows. Even like hot chocolate and these marshmallow chocolates. And just tell your friends or write it out. Throw one of these in a cup of hot chocolate and now you've got a marshmallow. But so these were six for a dollar and I thought that was fantastic deal. I've also saw the chocolate ones that you can put in hot milk and make hot chocolate, but I didn't pick those up. I did, however, get a variety of candy canes. I love these. I get them every year for my gifting. I just love throwing these in gift baskets on top of candy trays. Again, they're individually wrapped, which to me for this year is very important. Um, and they're cute, you know, they're just, and you get 25 of them for $1. So I grabbed those. And then I thought for some of the kids in my life, these are Warhead, so they're sour. It doesn't say on the front, oh, black cherry, blue raspberry, and green apple. I'm gonna share these with my cousins and their gift. Um, then I grabbed some Rudolph, which is blue cherry, I'm sorry, cherry and blue raspberry, little mini, and these are just little mini candy canes, and you get 20, and then Frosty is blue raspberry and strawberry. So I'm going to open up all of these packages of candy canes, two, four, six, 85 of them, and sort them. A lot of times I like to put them on cookie trays that I'm giving away, but also they can go into these gift baskets and just, you know, sprinkle them on top, I think is going to be ideal. I'm just curious, we're going to open up the Warhead to see if it says, okay, so it says Warhead, so whoever gets them should know that that is, <laughs> it's sour. That's what I wanted to make sure. So they say Warheads on them. So that's perfect. And again, I have a couple neighbors that have little ones, and I think this year, due to COVID, I'm going to 
bring over some cookie trays for them. Um, I can't decide. I have one neighbor that has three littles, and I mean littles. They're her grandchildren. They're like four, five, and eight or something. I mean, they're young. <sighs> Making cookies and then packing up frosting and sprinkles and letting them decorate their own. So put all that in a tray, or I'll just make cookies and send them over. I'm not sure yet, but we're going to do that for the neighbors. And then I have a little boy that's, I don't know, maybe 11, that lives across the way, and he's... A nice kid, so I'll bring him some cookies too. All right, now, and obviously at the Dollar Tree, they have all different candies, like these. I think these might have been out for Halloween, but these are just strictly Milky Way caramels. So you get six fun size bars in here. I'll show you. So it's not like the snacking size, these are the fun size. So I would call them like a two bite bar. But I have a co worker who loves these so I got them for her basket so they're a big pretty decent size um how many ounces it doesn't say but I like these and these are just simply caramel chocolate cover caramel and there's six in the package so I will make sure those go in her little gift so I think I'm having a um or hosting some of my co-workers for Christmas and December depending on COVID and how things roll with that and so I'm putting together little like gifts, take home gifts. Think about like your kids' parties. <laughs> I'm putting together little gifts for everybody to take home. Okay, we're coming down to the last of everything. I found, they're calling it a peppermint candy cup. Girl, that is nothing but a shot glass to me. Um, I have a friend that I know will enjoy this immensely, so I'm giving it to her, but it's, it's what it says. It's just peppermint candy molded into a little cup. And I think that would be fun with a little bottle of peppermint schnapps or some, um, maybe some mocha liqueur and some coffee. And you could do like cold shots if you have people that enjoy that type of thing. You know, like an adult adventy type gift. But I thought it was cute, so I grabbed it. And I know she will appreciate that. Um, also to go on in baskets are sixlets. And if you've not seen these before, I will show you what they look like. These are great too. If you're decorating gingerbread houses or cookies, you can open up these packages, but they're little like ball shaped M&Ms. They're chocolate on the middle, on the inside and a hard coated candy on the outside. And you get 25 of these packages, but they're great for decorating sugar cookies, gingerbread houses or whatever just have to take them out I grabbed two because I love just sprinkling them you know in on top so that they have some chocolates and that's a good brand speaking of branding I grabbed some of these Godiva Belgium masterpiece milk chocolate caramels Godiva is like the Cadillac of chocolate here in the United States it's amazing so I grabbed four Two of them are for Sarah. They'll go in her stocking. And then two I'm gifting. Just, you know, they'll go in the baskets. But these are amazing. And they also have dark chocolate. And Godiva is a good deal for the Dollar Tree. Now, these are small. They're just one ounce bars. But it's still Godiva. And the same thing with Lindor. That's a nice size truffle candy bar. So it's a milk chocolate truffle bar instead of the balls. And I love these because, again, they have some height. And they'll go into your basket and kind of bring things up they also have and i hadn't found them yet andy's candies the cordial mints in a bar and again those are nice for gift basketing ideas um i grabbed two bags of this peppermint bark from russell stover you don't get a lot in here so if you're planning on gifting a lot of candy you might want to buy a bigger bag but I like the, again the individual packaging I'll put this right in and the person I'm gifting really likes these so I grabbed two of those uh, maybe one for Sarah I don't know yet I, I'm in the works with her about what she likes and wants in her basket this year I always get her a little bit of candy um, these are adorable if you have a little especially they're itty bitty little Santa chocolates it's just plain chocolate in the shape of a Santa Claus and you get a fair amount in here, and they would be great for littles, like the little people. Just give them a couple at a time. Plus, I love the packaging. 
Um, they also, I feel like, you get 60 of them too. I feel like Russell Stover put out something like this, but it's melting chocolate and you put it in milk, but I couldn't find it. I'll show you if I do, because that makes hot chocolate and I think that would be super fun. I grabbed three bags of these. and I don't know if it's just packaging. I, it must just be the packaging difference. I think these are the exact same thing. Now this is also Palmer. You get little chocolate, snowman and this Rudolph themed. You get the snowman, Rudolph and Santa. You get little tiny pretzels and peanuts. I don't think there's anything else in here. Oh, peanut butter filled chocolate. And this is the same thing. So I'm just going to go with packaging, but these are great little bags to put in for anybody really, but I am, these are for some of the teens and one for Sarah, but just a little snack mix and I think it's super cute, packaging wise. Now for my nephew who's getting those these two candies, he is a teenage boy, he's 15. I'm getting him a gift card, but I wanted to give him a bag of snacks, but different snacks. So I grabbed him these pandas and this bar, and then I got him Takis in Explosion and Fuego because teenage boys so I got two individual bags of Takis and then I'll get some more and I'm going to fill this bag full of snacks and then put his gift card in there which is the real gift but then I got him some Sour Patch Watermelon I know he happens to like those and then I got him some Nerds and these are all just little snacks for him the gift card I'm getting is to a video place where he can get a new video game and I thought boys like them some snacks right and then I got my cousin a bag of these as well so that is it that I bought so far of the candy and snacks from the Dollar Tree and I would suggest if there's anything in here that you see that you like um, I would get out right away and pick them up because this stuff goes fast especially the Stouffer's I have found like these little itty bitties go pretty fast um, the Takis are always there. And then I think this was in the back to school section, if I had to guess. And they did have these. So you just kind of got to go look and see what you find. But I know that the more high-end candy, I say high-end, but like the Godiva. And I haven't found yet the Stover, or Russell Stover. They have these with um, caramel in the middle. And my niece loves those. So I need to pick up the caramel, caramel ones for her. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you enjoyed my favorite video of the year of all the stuff I can't even eat. <laughs> all right, guys, well, you have a good one. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications. Bye.